Darren, someone else is going to throw your darts. Who's going to do it? Who do you vote? Carlo, you're in. You have to impersonate. He's throwing everything. Okay, nine darts to see who scores the most. Carlo, game on. So Carlo Van Pier is playing with somebody else's darts. And to be honest, the way that he started, I think he might as well try and keep wow. him and try and buy him off it. Darren Armstrong. Okay, I take the point back. I mean, this ain't easy. I mean, there's a lot of players that don't ever change their darts. Three more darts, Carlo. Never Let's change go. their darts. They try and keep themselves like old faithful. There's a couple peering in the background. Want to have a little Four bit of a look three. at this? Carlo. Who's going to use your darts? Connor Heenan. Here we go. The old 120, 138, whatever you want to call it. Game on. Connor Heenan with Carlo Van Piers. In fairness, I wouldn't... 25. Be surprised if he did okay He's with these darts because they're not actually seven. too far off the that. set that he throws. Andy Bolton's enjoying this. Look at him in the background. 47. He's having the time of his so life. 72 scored. Just a confirmation as to whether it's touching. Yeah. One, three, six to win. Just remember, in darts for a darts account, it's like that song. It's just a little 100. touch. Connor, who do you vote to use your darts? Mr. Bolton, the most confident player here. Right, there we go. Let's go. Look at that pelt. Ready for his Love Island application. Let's go. The X Factor. Oh, it's a little bit more X-rate. <laughs> He's trying. Not just is he trying to throw Conor Hines darts, he's trying to throw like Conor Hines. That is the best Conor Hines. What is this? <laughs> Two hundred to go. Come on. What you've lost the pal there, haven't you? But fifty-nine. Well, he's lost scored. the Hines hand momentum there. He's got one last go. He's got one last go. He comes up, he approaches, gives it the snarl, and then throws normally. Sixty. Andy, who's going to use your darts then? Louis, come on straight in there. Oh, he's doing a proper Andy here. Look at this. <laughs> well, he's going to have to perform now Game with on. that kind of New York catwalk style strut. One hundred. <laughs> I want a juicy wiggle. There's the juicy wiggle right on cue. There's been more wiggles this week than a Snoop Dogg track. Forty-five. Bit less like it. Still a limber, still a stretch. Sixty-three Go points on. to win. I want a juicy wiggle at the end of this visit. I want a wiggle. Big dart for the prize. Come on, Louis. Forty-five. Great effort. Unlucky there. I don't think there'll be a wiggle after this. Louis, which one do you want? Danny. Here we go then. The mullet. Let's go. So 207 points you need. Let's go. Game on. 208 then. 208. Let's go. Game on. Oh, and Binks ain't got a clue what's going on. 60. Well, that was high, wide, and a little bit handsome. I was talking about the darts, not Danny. 100. Tell you what. So you need 48 what points. The worst to throw win. I've seen. Not even he's having a bit of wiggle Don't action. Don't want to miss out on the prize on offer today. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Played it safe to try and pick the points up. The advantage of playing right at the very end. Oh. 36. The mallet rocks. 296 points scored. 296. Darren. It's the last person. Here we go. Let's go. Game on. Oh, hello. Cool. Andy Bolton looked at that with a bit of intrigue, didn't he? 100. Solid start. Mind you, he did have to use a second set of darts yesterday after his point snapped. Oh, my. Oh, hello. 
What happened there? Ooh, 100 he went for a cheeky little 170. That last one. 77 to win. Yes. Oh, Darren. No. no don't out, don't but it's out. enough to win. It's enough to win. And he finishes us off with a bullseye. Look at that. Well, let's see. He doesn't want Darren because he actually threw them better than Danny did. So he doesn't want... <laughs> no, okay. Mr. Derek Coulson. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Game on. Nine darts. Nine darts. So nine darts, Owen. Yep, definitely nine darts. Who can score the highest using different people's darts? 45. You are told on a regular basis a dart player can play with anything. We'll get to see if that theory is true throughout this challenge. I think Darren Armstrong is loving it. Big smile across the face. I don't think these ones are suiting Derek too much. 44. Good nomination here from Danny Anson, who looks very pleased with himself there. But the one good bit of news for Derek Colson is after these three darts, he will be top of the leaderboard. And that's because one he's the only one who's played 100. so far. Look at that, 189. Louis Williams. Here we go, up the toffees. 189 to beat. Game on. Didn't he approach the hockey there with a bit of swagger? He likes the look of this. He fancies this challenge. 59. Lovely switching there from Louis Williams. I didn't like the way the darts were landing. I thought they could have been the old stitch up there. But oh, lovely switch. He likes that little one, doesn't he? Ironically, exactly the same as the first player. Good luck. 89 scored. would put him level at the top of the table with Derek, but he's not found. 149. Right, Louis, who's going to throw your darts? Here we go then, Mr. Janssen. Game on. I don't think they've noticed something here. They're having a little bit of a giggle. Danny Janssen still hasn't noticed. I've noticed. I know what's going on here. There's a bit of a stitch up here. There it is. 40. Oh, you've snapped the point. No. There's no point. Hold on a minute. Can we watch that language, please, Danny? I understand your frustration. He's been set up. He's been set up. No, you can't do it again. You should have checked the points. It's not my, do you know what I mean? You just have to carry on. Unbelievable. He's absolutely raging. Don't, don't hit him. Right. So to fill you in on what's just happened there, Darren Armstrong had a dart break in the week, lost the point. Louis Williams got 100. that dart. He's actually on for a good score here. He gave him the broken dart as part of the stitch up there. Something you'll see a lot of people doing exhibitions, actually. No, when you get I believe the... that's 140 scored, so you need 50 to win. When you get the loud player come up, you always stuck him up with a, a broken set or a, an awkward set. 50! Hey, Janssen! He's made you look proper stupid there, Louis, to be fair. OK, so Jack. Time for you to get involved. Who do you want to throw your darts? Darren, you're up. The winner of the, the Group A challenge. Here we go. Darren, let's go. Armstrong, game up. I mean, that was a great dart there from Danny Anson to put himself at the top of the board, but he's only topped by one. 59. He's going to have to survive. A couple more players still to go. Danny on 190, Derek on 189, Louis on 149, but Darren Armstrong is building hey, up a score. Five. Yep, 47 to win. Game if Darren Armstrong going to try and beat you by one, that might be the theme of this group. Just try and beat you by one point. He needs a treble, no pressure. Oh. Right, so Darren has nominated Alec to throw. Here we go. Game on. 190. One. There's a 172 in the last one there from Darren, but I don't think Alec point? is going to... Is there a point on there? No, there is. 80. I don't think he's going to need... Well, Louis got involved again. To just look at scraping this by one. That's a great start to the campaign. 60. You should borrow his, uh, borrow his darts for the day, mate. That's pretty decent, this. <laughs> Think about it. 93. There we go. 233. One player to throw. Jack, it's all on you for the prize. Okay. Whose darts are you throwing with? Alec. Okay, right. Up the tune, he says. Let's go. Two and two. Game on. Good score there from Alec. 233. It wouldn't have doubled his prize money on Bullseye, but he'll be happy with 233. 21. Jack Mayle 
running towards the bottom of the table. You need an awful lot. Let's just leave it there. You need an awful lot, mate. I've got to be honest. <laughs> 58. Right, you need 154. Good luck, Jack. Sweet. Pops in a 180. 154 for the prize. Could you imagine the scenes? 85. Ladies and gentlemen, using the mullet starts. The winner, there we go, Darren Armstrong.